week, Lab TV travels to a Navy research lab in Dahlgren, Virginia, to meet engineers who design and test air filters for Navy ships. Filtering is basically when you have air that's containing dust, dirt, or, or chemicals or something, and you uh, pull it through a filter. The filter itself will remove dust or aerosols, or it will remove chemicals, but let the rest of the air pass through. So the oxygen, nitrogen, everything else in the atmosphere passes through, but anything that you want to remove will be captured on the filter itself. We don't usually see the filters that are around us, but they do an important job. We have filters to purify, clean out contaminants so that we don't ingest them or inhale them so we can remain healthy and active. To help keep both you and your furnace healthy, there's an air filter system in your house. In your house, the way your air conditioning system or furnace usually works is that it'll pull air from a return grill and filter it and then it will heat or cool the air and then resupply it back into your house. It's a circular loop. It pulls air from your house and then the air is supplied back into it. The air passes through a mechanical filter to remove dust and dirt. That's a pretty thin filter, sometimes just a fibrous mat that you might find uh, that you get replaced every few months or so. The ships are actually done a little bit differently. What we do is we pull air from outside the ship and filter it and then push it into the ship. On the ship, the outside air passes through three filters. You have your uh, pre-filter, and then your HEPA filter, and then your carbon filter. You want to protect your carbon filter from all the particulates, and dust, and dirt, and that's what the HEPA filter does. The flow path is kind of like uh, water through a pipe or water in a river. There is a direction to it, so you can think of it as being upstream or downstream. Uh, the air will come in uh, through the intake, it'll go through certain filters in an order. We'll go through one filter, then the next, then another, and then through a fan, and then be delivered into the ship. The pre-filter and HEPA filter are mechanical filters. They trap particles like dust, pollen, germs, and tobacco smoke. This is made out of just a, a polyester felt. It's a fabric, a non-woven fabric. It's pretty lightweight, simple material. Uh, higher efficiency filters, uh, like HEPA filters, are they look a lot like paper, and it's actually made in the same process they use to make paper. Uh, this is actually made out of uh, microscopic glass fibers. While this sheet looks continuous, it's actually full of voids and holes and um, channels for the air to flow through. In the HEPA filter, these glass fibers will capture nano-sized particles before the air flows to the last filter, the carbon filter. The carbon filter is a chemical filter. It uses adsorption to bind with chemicals and remove them from the air. These are carbon granules that we're taking out of a Navy filter, not too dissimilar from the carbon granules you'll take out of a water filter in your home. Just like your water filter, this carbon filter contains activated carbon. That means the carbon has been processed to give it a large surface area. What you can't see in here, you need to actually use an electron microscope, it's very porous, um, almost like a sponge. Here at the lab, the engineers test the filters to make sure they work before they are used on Navy ships. This is a working model that shows how a filter system for a ship would work. The model is split into two parts. Uh, the first part is uh, just a fan spreading air throughout the interior. In this case, because there's no filter, it just spreads the smoke everywhere. On the other side, there's, a, uh, there's an intake that's filtered, and there's a fan that pulls air through the filters and pressurizes this one uh, clean space that you can see is kept free of smoke or contamination. These filters can protect sailors against chemical and biological agents. And they also keep the sailors healthier by removing air pollution and smoke. We don't want our sailors breathing in toxic gases or even pollution. Being an engineer, um, you can always see what it is that you're affecting. You're learning something to solve a problem, to uh, make a difference, to you know, change something. And that is really, uh, it's a satisfying experience doing that. To find out more about mechanical and chemical filters, check out labtvonline.org.